Hello, um, this is Harry Campbell from Biofeedback Resources. I wanted to demonstrate to you a type of disposable EMG recording electrode. Uh, this is called the Easy Trode. The part number is 3SG3-N and it's a, a disposable electrode. It's pre-gelled. It uh, comes in a package of 150. They're individually uh, packed in sets of six so that you're not exposing too many of them at one time. So I'm just opening one of the packages here. Show you what they look like. So you get six of these that are on one uh, plastic backing. I'll show it a little closer here. This is the back of them and you can see the uh, sensor or electrode surface here and they're uh, pre-gelled. The other side of them has the snap connector and here you see it's a, a cloth material so it's very flexible. Uh, when you put it on the skin it's very flexible. Um, and the pre-gel is a sort of a, a gummy type of, uh, of surface or, or um, material. Different than some of the other electrodes or sensors that we use. And there are many different types of electrodes or sensors and they serve different purposes. The type that you use is going to depend on what you're doing. Many of them can be used for many different things, but um, sometimes there's a, a, a better use for a particular type of sensor or there's a, a best type of sensor for a particular application. These are used uh, often if you need to be able to move the sensor from one site to another during the same session. Some people actually um, try to save them and use them for other sessions. I, I don't really recommend that. It's too much hassle, not worth the savings you might uh, think you're, you're going to uh, get uh, in, in money uh, by reusing them because you have to label them and you have to make sure you're using them for the same person and all that kind of thing. And, and you know, these days people are pretty concerned about cleanliness and, and infection, all those kinds of things. So some of the situations that these sensors are better for would include if you have to move the sensors or you want to move the sensors from one part of the body to another part of the body during the session. Uh, another, um, another situation would be if you're putting the sensors on an area where the skin is sensitive. So this type of, of adhesive, the uh, pre-gelled adhesive that's used here, is different than some of the other uh, more aggressive adhesives that are used with some of the other disposable sensors. Um, in some other videos I'll show some of the other types of uh, disposable sensors we have, but this type I think is, is useful if the skin is sensitive, um, it doesn't pull as much, it's, it's not going to uh, hurt uh, as much or be uh, uncomfortable when it's coming off uh, the, the skin. Uh, people also will use these when they are working in uh, areas where the skin is generally more sensitive, for instance uh, in the pelvic area. Um, when people are doing pelvic muscle disorder work if they are not using a insertable sensor, whether vaginal or rectal, they may use external sensors like these, uh, and this type is going to work much uh, better than a, a sensor that has a more aggressive adhesive. So putting in the pelvic area, in the genital area, is not uh, going to be as uncomfortable as they might be if you're using sensors that have a more aggressive adhesive. These go on easy and come off easy and they also are very flexible. Other 
situations where they would be helpful is if you are going to have the person moving. So if a person has to have the sensors on and bend and, and move the area where the sensors are placed, these are going to flex much easier uh, than some of the other uh, more rigid uh, materials. So those are some of the reasons why you might want to use this type of uh, sensor. So I'm going to put these on and, and I'll just kind of show you what they look like. So I'm going to pick an area where there's uh, quite a bit of hair on the arm so you can see. So what I always recommend is that you take the snap connectors of the EMG device that you're working with. You snap those on to the disposable electrodes. So you snap those on first before you put them on the skin. And then you're going to use a uh, prep pad. These are alcohol prep pads. They're not the plain alcohol pads that you get at the pharmacy that just have alcohol in them and you would normally use those if you're going to be administering a needle or something like that. Um, those don't do the same job as this type of uh, alcohol prep pad does. These are specifically made for cleaning the skin if you're going to be placing uh, recording electrodes on the skin. They, besides the alcohol, they have a uh, mild abrasive on the pad itself, like uh, pumice. And so what we do is we rub the skin aggressively. This is one of the mistakes that I see that people make, especially when they're first starting in biofeedback. They will kind of gently rub the skin and that's really not doing the job we need. We need to aggressively rub the skin so that it um, so that it removes any excess uh, oils, lotions, makeup, um, and possibly even dirt uh, that is on the skin um, because those things will interfere with us picking up the signal that we're trying to pick up through the skin. We're trying to pick up electrical activity that's produced by the muscles and any of those uh, substances that are on the skin will block some of that signal and it will give us a, a higher what we call impedance uh, reading uh, that has to do with the electrical contact the quality of the electrical contact and so we want to reduce that so now what we do is we place these we peel one off we'll just peel one off the plastic backing and then we stick it on the skin in the area that we want to record from. Usually finding where the muscle is, have the person flex and you can feel the muscle. We place, I'm going to start down here so we can see, we place one, this is an active, that's the blue in this case, this is on the Thought Technology equipment so they use blue as an active. And then we're going to place, I'm going to peel the next one off. I'm going to place that one above that and then we'll peel the last one off. This is the yellow. So the black one is the ground and then we're going to place one more which is the yellow and now we've got those all on the arm. So you can see what that looks like there. This one is a little off, but you can see with this type of sensor, this is one of the good things about it, you can actually take these off and replace them. Many disposable sensors, once they're on, you can't really take them off and put them back on because they won't stick. So that's a, uh, a, a placement using these 3S G3N um, easy trode sensors and you can see how those are on the skin there and we could get a good reading with that so now I'm gonna 
just show you how we can unsnap these. Um, what I do sometimes if I plan on putting the placing these back on again, I'll just unsnap them by sticking my fingernail underneath and just prying it. And now you can see what the sensor looks like without the cable snapped onto it. Now, if I needed to move this, I could just peel it off and I could put it somewhere else. Of course, I would have to prep that site first, but you can see how easy that goes on and you can see how flexible it is with the skin. So if I have to bend or move, it works very well. It's going to pop the other two off and now you can see if I needed to move the other sensors I could move those too. Now this is not necessarily a, a sensor placement that I would use but you can see how that works. And you can see they're sticking very well and they're flexible if I needed to bend. If I even had this let's say you know on near where there's a joint and I needed to bend you can see it gives pretty well okay so that's a uh, demonstration of the easy trode disposable pre-gelled electrode or we prefer to use the term sensor as it sounds better to put a sensor on somebody than it does an electrode and you can see I can just peel these off easily and you can see there's no um, it doesn't come off as as um, hard as let's say the other types of disposables that are more like taking a band-aid off which can hurt a little bit uh, but these go, come off pretty easy and they go back on pretty easy so that's the demonstration and again this is what it looks like you can find these on our website biofeedbackinternational.com under the disposable electrodes or supplies section and if you'd like you can contact our office and we'd be happy to send you a sample of these. This is the, uh, the package and of course I tore this apart but this is the uh, easy trode easy trode 3SG3N and we um, would be happy to send you some samples if you want to try them out. Let us know what you think. You can reach us also at the uh, office at 914-762-4646 or toll free 877-669-6463 and you can also email us at uh, info at biofeedbackinternational.com or sales at biofeedbackinternational.com and you can reach me personally at harry at biofeedbackinternational.com thanks for checking out this video and hope to talk to you soon try these out i think you'll like them